Today we are going to show you the Balberti floor plan. Now this is in Calterra, which is a neighborhood in Dripping Springs. This is a build by Scott Felder, one of my favorite builders. Let's go check out the floor plan. This floor plan actually has a lot to offer and I'm actually really excited to get your take on some of the features in this house. So as we get into this house, I'm gonna tell you that stay attuned because I want you to see some of these things. Already from this front shot, you can see there's two separate garages. So I wanna talk to you about that. But all right, we walk into the floor plan here and you walk right into a formal dining room. I don't know how I felt about this. So how do you feel about having a formal dining room right as you walk in off the entrance? I like that they did a really nice fixture here and I want you to pay attention to the wood in this as well. Now this floor plan in this neighborhood is listed over a little over a million dollars here in Calatera. We'll talk about Calatera later. So just curious, there's some really interesting flex spaces with this house. Would you pay over a million dollars in Calatera for this floor plan? It is a four bedroom, three and a half bath, 3,600 square foot single story with what you're already seeing, some really nice finishes. I, throughout this, look at the trade ceiling. So this is the office right off the front. So you had that main little you know, dining room area right when you walk in. This office has French doors right off the living space. And as you can see, you can see one of the one car garages out the window, but look how they did the ceilings with these like trade ceilings, kind of artistic, looks really nice. Just curious if you would want that in your home, because it's going to be an upgrade feature for anyone putting that in their house. So as we step into the living room, I've seen this, in, look, here's the uh, the ceiling that I was talking about. I've seen this with their floor plans where they put like the fireplace right in the middle of everything as a centerpiece. And it looks like you'd put your TV over that. Are you okay with putting your TV over the fireplace or would you want it on one of the sides here? Would you put in bookshelves on the sides of this? I'm just curious because it looks like a really big statement piece. You're only gonna use the fireplace in Texas a few times a year. Is it that big of a deal to have a really nice fireplace? I'm just curious what people think about that. But they did some really nice wood flooring in here. This is just some nice plank wood flooring. I've seen some nicer upgrades on the flooring and other floor plans, but this was good. What are your th thoughts on the, uh, the flooring of this? So you'll notice with the sliding doors, there's a really big patio space out there. This is a nice wide open concept. We'll show you there's like a game room on the other side of the wall there in a minute. It was pretty interesting. I love the outdoor space. Like I've been saying on this channel, outdoor spaces are key in the Texas hill country, especially when you get a lot like this that has you know a green belt lot behind it. So that's why, again, this is a little over a million dollars. So uh, you can buy this floor plan actually in Liberty Hill for less, a little bit less, like in the nine, high 900s. One thing you'll notice here too is all sides brick. That's a huge upgrade because it actually means you'll have a lot less maintenance around the house. Now you'll still need to do some caulking and things like that around the house. But you know, if you had like hardy plank, you're probably going to have more issues. I mean, I just, there's so much to love with this outdoor space here. What do you think? All right, let's step back inside and I wanna show you the kitchen and all the fun stuff inside. So this is a breakfast nook area. I feel like they have a good amount of window coverage, but this was a cloudy, gloomy day. I wish there was a little more natural light. I like the under cabinet uh, lights. Do you think there's enough cabinet space in this? See, there's a cabinets that go all the way to the ceiling. That looks good. Do you think that the island needs to be bigger? Do you think what do you think? I mean, this this is a good sized kitchen. Could it be bigger? Now they did some really nice touches in here with the appliances. You'll see six burner stove. There's the pot filler. Are you a pot filler person? Some people love the pot filler. Some people don't. They have the single sink here. So nice big single sink. I like that single sink. I'm a fan of it. Sometimes you will have some issues with those if you do like the, you know, what coating they have on the inside of the sink. You do have double ovens here, which is nice. 
So the, the upgrade features here are definitely the stainless appliances. I didn't get a chance to check to see if these had soft closed doors, but are you a soft closed drawer person? I definitely am. Backsplash was actually a really nice touch, I think. I've seen some of the builders that do just kind of a generic backsplash. This had some nice texture to it. It really tied in the, the cabinet colors. So it was like white and gray little tiles. Really nice added touch to me when I was walking through the home doing this video. I really liked it. What are your thoughts on the touches for the backsplash? Is gray still in or is gray on its way out? Everybody is different, you know, as far as like gray, the good gray schemes. So are you in on it? I liked how the cabinets on the island were white versus the gray color. It's kind of hard to tell here, but they are different color than the actual uh, cabinets on the back side. Real quick, I'm gonna to talk to you about Calatera and what you get in this community, but stay tuned. There's a lot more that I wanna show you in this property, there's a lot. Let's talk about the other reason why somebody's gonna to move to a neighborhood like this, and that is the schools. So the schools here are Walnut Springs Elementary, Dripping Springs Middle School, and then Dripping Springs High School. The reason why I'm in Dripping Springs specifically was a school district. It is rated in A by Niche.com. It is actually rated the second best school district in all of the Austin area in Central Texas behind Eans ISD. I just did a video on my YouTube channel about this. You can find that. So there's a lot of reasons why people are moving just for the schools. All three of those schools I mentioned for this neighborhood are all rated in A, except for the high school. It's rated in A+. So let's talk about the things around the neighborhood. So when you think about Dripping Springs, a lot of people think that there's nothing out here and you would actually kind of be right. There is an HEB really close to Calatera. Like I said, we're off of Ranch Road 12 and 290. So you have the historic downtown. If you ever want to go boot scooting downtown, there's downtown, Mercer's down on Main over there. People are boot scooting on the weekend and doing all their fun line dancing. There's good bars and restaurants in that little area. And right next to this neighborhood, a fun thing to do is to go to Twisted X Brewery. Now, I personally, and I made videos, told you, I kind of quit drinking, but I love to go there just for the ambiance. They've got really good food there. And on top of that, if you're a beer drinker, or a beer connoisseur, they actually have really, really good beers at Twisted X Brewery. You go the opposite direction down Ranch Road 12, and you're gonna hit some of the best hill country places, like my camera guy I loves, Treaty Oak. Just down the road, you have Dripping Springs Distillery. The other direction, you have Deep Eddies. So there's a lot of really cool hill country breweries, distilleries, and fun stuff. Oh yeah, and by the way, a quick shot down the road and you're into Wimberley, the historic downtown Wimberley. You can go, you know, float the river down there, enjoy all the fun stuff. So there's a lot of stuff right in this area. On top of that, Homespun, which is one of my favorite restaurants, is right down the street as well. So the location might be 45 minutes from downtown Austin, but you get a lot of stuff out here. On top of that, if you do want to hit some other restaurants, you are probably about 15 to 20 minutes from the Belterra Shopping Center where there's tons of great stuff like Torchies, if you're a Torchies person, personally, I'm a Taco Deli person. You drop a comment below, Taco Deli versus Torchies. I wanna hear, let's start the fight right now. All right, let's get back into the house. There's still so much more. We haven't seen any of the bedrooms yet. We haven't seen much in this house. So let's get back in there. Before we do that though, notice that there is a two car garage on one side and a one car garage on the other. So you have two separate sides. What are your thoughts on that? I did like that you have kind of like a corridor space or a courtyard space almost in the front. So here's the schematics of the house. Like I said, two separate garages. You have bedrooms on one side of the garage. You have a bedroom on the other side of the garage. Again, this is a four bedroom. You have baths on one side, baths on the other. So lots of different flex space in here. And if you'll notice, there is a game room space to the right hand side over there. And then you have kind of like a mud bench walk in area. So I want to show you those areas because that I think was really, really interesting to me. So let's step in and check out that game room. So this is right to the right. So past the um, dining room area that we saw the formal dining room. So 
this is a good sized room. It's just a little awkward to me. And you tell me if it's awkward because you have a game room here and then right off the game room are the bedrooms. So in order to get to the bedrooms, you have to walk through the game room. I'm not sure how I felt about that. So this, that, those French doors you see there go into the kitchen. And then that's one bedroom to the right. And then up the hallway is another bedroom. And then there's a full bath right there. And then the pantry is behind that. What are your thoughts on that? Do you think that's laid out? And then that hallway you're seeing over there actually goes to one of the garages. So here's the mud bench in from the garage. It's got that storage mud bench. I think I talked to you about this in another one of their floor plans. Do you want cabinets here or do you like the storage space that they've built in? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna show you the garages. Let's show you the garages. All right, so here's the two car garage. You get some flex space on the side over there with the small windows. So some natural light that gets brought in. Those doors you see on the left, that's actually where they have the hot water heaters and some of your mechanical items. Is this a big enough two car space for you? And is there enough storage space? That is the question. I'll show you the other one. So this is where you put in like your golf cart or your Ferrari that you, you want to like, who's got, who's got a Ferrari that they want to put in here. Uh, if the little um, thing that you saw in the back there was the RO, if you want to put an RO system in there. So water softener, get a little bit of flex space in here. Let's go back inside. Okay. So coming back in from the med bench from the two car garage, let's take, check out the first bedroom that you walk into. Not a huge closet in there. It's a good size closet, but it's interesting when the doors were so small. This bedroom does have a bath in it. So you do get, yeah, I believe these are gonna be Jack and Jill. Yeah, these are Jack and Jill into the other um, bedroom in there. So this side will have a sink and a toilet. And then the, um, which I'll have is the, yeah, exactly. So just the sink on this side, the toilets in with the shower. What are your thoughts on the upgrades they've done on this? Interesting, interesting color scheme. I know the lighting's a little off, but bedroom number two, this, so this is on the other side of the, of the bedroom because there's a Jack and Jill bath there. So you can walk through one bedroom to the other. Plus you have the game room right here. So what are your thoughts on just how this is laid out? I found a little interesting, not what I would have necessarily picked. Now here's the full bathroom that is right off of the game room. So the game room does have an additional full bath here. Again, what are your thoughts on this backsplash for the tile? What are your thoughts on the cabinet color? You know, we just said that gray might be on the way out. So are these brown colors coming back in? You tell me. The comment section's for you to really like just go after it and talk about what you think. So definitely want to hear from you. So here's another bedroom that's actually behind the game room. So this is the fourth bedroom, which would end up being the fourth bedroom. We're calling it the third in this video. And if you look, there's a little hallway here. So it looks like it attaches to its own private bathroom, but it doesn't. It actually attaches to that bathroom we showed you right off of the game room. So it kind of has its own bath, but it's not private. It is open up to other people or you know, if you have guests. So something to think about. This is the laundry room. Now this is right behind the kitchen. So what do you think about the location of the laundry room being right here? Now this does have a sink and some cabinet space, a little bit smaller than some of the other floor plans we've been seeing with Scott Felder. Yet, I think this is more functional because you have cabinet space in it. What are your thoughts? And it's nice it has a little backsplash with it. Sometimes they don't put a backsplash around, you know, the little half sink that's in this, in these bathrooms, or sorry, in these <laughs> laundry rooms. All right, let's check out the master bedroom. Good size master bedroom. I would have loved to seen a bigger niche or, or a bump out on this as an option. Now I know they do make that as an option. This is a spec home that you're looking at. So Scott Felder just specced everything out. You could build a little niche or a bump out to make this master bedroom a little bit bigger. It's things to think about when you're building a home or versus specking a home. A lot of these things you can upgrade even further. I did like the countertop that they chose for this bathroom, a nice three centimeter countertop, big countertop. I like that they went with a 
frameless shower in this and it has a bench in the shower are you a bench person in the shower let me know the, the layout in this bathroom is actually really nice i like that the tub is kind of far away but if you're getting on the tub to get in the shower you're gonna have a lot of water tracked through there so good size closet i mean what are your thoughts about that having the the bathtub so far away from the shower so here's a secondary closet. So you get two little closets with this. You kind of get a his and hers, which is nice. All right, I've shown you this house. I need to hear from you. What do you think about this house? Do you like this floor plan or is it a no for you? The Bell Verde with Scott Felder. I'm still liking the garage is separated like that. Okay, you've seen the floor plan. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me how much you either love or hated this video. On top of that, it's time to subscribe and share with a friend you haven't done so already. We'll see you in the next video. And oh, by the way, don't forget to reach out if you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in the Austin area. We'd love to help.